Mesothelioma and asbestos diseases generally occur in individuals who worked with asbestos, factory workers, shipyard workers, people who worked in chemical paper factories, tradesmen, carpenters, electrician, electricians, floor tile installers. Mesothelioma, though, also occurs in other people. We've represented dentists who used asbestos in fillings, individuals like veterinarians, uh, and obstetrician who used asbestos in certain materials that they used during their centrifuges and things like that. So, uh, laboratory workers. So, asbestos exposure can occur in many, many different ways. And one of the things that we specialize in is uncovering these unique exposures. Um, if a person has mesothelioma, we know that they've been exposed to asbestos and they need to get to a law firm like Bellick and Fox where we can help them understand what the exposures to asbestos might have been, even if they don't really know that they've been exposed. We also represent individuals who were family members of people who were exposed to asbestos. Asbestos can travel home on people's clothing and cause mesothelioma in family members of individuals who were exposed to asbestos and we call those take-home or secondary exposure cases and there are many, many, many of them reported in the literature.